Hey everyone, welcome back to another Undead World Hero Survival episode. So today we're going to have a part two of my team comp suggestions. Okay, so feel free guys to um, experiment with these lists and these teams. Um, they are not really a um, sure, sure way of winning anything. But this is just a guide on based on what I've tested so far based on my own opinion and based on what I think can help you guys in terms of putting up your own teams. Okay, so what I did was for the squads, I listed down and made a couple of squads. So we have um, to your right, the right column, the Sky Campaign and the PvP. These are my old teams that I was able to discuss with you um uh last time in the last episode for those who haven't seen that episode um i'm gonna put a link up there so that you can see those um, lineups that we discussed um the, the new li lineups are actually here so one two three four five six so these are going to um uh, what are we going to be discussing so we'll start with uh, pvp so i have two two new pvp lineups that I was able to put together. So first is going to be this lineup. Um, this lineup, uh, I've tested it. It's actually good. Um, the purpose of this lineup is to have three, uh, three heroes that resurrect. So you have in your front, uh, Tanya, you have Gabriel, you have Helen. Then at the back, you have Lita for the buffs and you have Astra there for your uh what do you call this for your resurrection as a zombie the next uh, pvp lineup that we have here is uh pvp new too so this one i'm pretty much excited because um this team i built this and i'm using this right now in terms of pvp um sometimes i switch but now this is my main pvp which i have a new hero uh for bella um, I only have one tank now. I have two in the mid, then two at the back. So the same Astra here, Lita. Then you have Murray. Then you have Bella here. Then in the front, uh, you have their um, Abigail as well as your tank. So let's try both of these lineups in PvP. Take note, they're only... Uh, the, 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 the PvP that I mean is... Um, for those teams are only for novice arena you can actually use them in um in the rumble the raging rumble but they are far they are more effective um uh, in the novice arena so let's take a look at okay let's change up the formation let's do this because you only have one tank technically and these two are melee let's go with this line uh, with with this formation and see what happens Okay, so again, um, as expected, they lose their, you know, their HP as fast as possible. But they will be resurrected while being resurrected. Obviously, um, your enemies are going to lose a couple. So hopefully we could uh, turn the tide of this, uh, of this uh, battle. You have their resurrection again for Helen. And still, we are in battle. So still neck and neck again these heroes um especially my front line like helen and gabriel don't have that much good gear but again if you prefer a more heavy on the melee side of things in terms of pvp um it's actually a good team i tried them out before the next one while we have um, still tickets for pvp um let's do the other PvP that we'll be testing is going to be this one. So this involves already um, Bell, uh, sorry, Bella. Let's try this out. At least you can see how you know how it goes. This one is a more you know for me it, it favors my play because I have range, I have a I have a a tank, and also I have melee. And Bella is actually perfect for PvP. But as you can see, this team is more uh, effective and balanced. And I built, and in fairness, this team I have built very well already. The next is um, we're gonna do look at is the train. 
So train in terms of Zombie Express. I have a new lineup for Zombie Express that I am actually using right now. So for Zombie Express, um, is this the lineup? So train new. Okay, so this is the lineup. So I have, you have there Abigail in the front. Then you have, um, you have a lot of AOE damage dealers at the back. So more on buffs because what you aim to do in the train is to do a lot of damage as quick as possible to so gain more points. Um, earlier stages of the train or Zombie Express is going to be more on the defensive side. But as you progress, you're going to have to um, advance your teams on the offensive side. So Abigail, if you have another AoE um, hero, you can actually replace Abigail uh, with another AoE hero that you have. Um, I'm also thinking of adding Cookie here uh, to this team. So hopefully it would, you know, give me more AOE damage. So, so far I'm up to, I'm going to end hopefully at 2 million at the one minute mark, as you can see there. So I'm on my way to seven. I actually play tested this a couple of times. So it usually ends up at 7 million. Um, but my goal right now is to probably go beyond 7 million to the next level. Uh, I think Cookie would bring me there especially with her buffs with her aoe damage as well but i actually have her still at um, the most basic level at epic so 20 seconds left to go we are at 5 million and we are nearing 7.5 which is my high score hopefully i can actually beat that score but uh, this is actually going to be very close Yes, I'm at 7.7 for this run. So a new high score. So as you can see, um, for, for your Zombie Express, I keep calling it the train. Zombie Express is going to be more on AoE damage, um, damage multipliers, damage buffs. So as you can see there, that is the squad that I actually was using. So we're done with two new PvP lineups. You have the, the, um, the train again. Then the rest is going to be campaign and skyscraper lineup. So we have three. Um, please bear with me because the current skyscraper lineups that I have here, here is actually very tough. Even my my own current team, I cannot even you know finish this yet. So I am at level uh, or at uh, floor 174. The squad that I'm using usually is this one. So this has been, you know, has taken me um, to this level already. This has, is, or is, or was in my previous video. The new ones that I've been experimenting on involves this one. Let's go more with, let's start with this one. So this is actually another lineup that I was experimenting. So what the goal for this one is just to pass um, the first wave. So as you can see, this lineup is tailored fit more for Sugar Reapers with a splash of uh, splash of Cookie. As you can see, Cookie was pulled in. That is the problem with this stage. Um, they keep on pulling in healers um, towards them. That is why healers usually don't survive this. Uh, sorry, not not healers. Um, but for the lowest HP. That you have they keep on pulling it towards um them but again this lineup survived the first wave which is actually promising and this can be tweaked furthermore as you can see cookie here is at epic um i just need to uh, give her more um or get more copies of her so let's end this let's uh, see the others i have two other lineups to show you for skyscraper in campaign so the next uh, lineup that we have here that I'm actually experimenting on is this one. So this one is more on the concept of having more collegium here, which is Connor is here, and the rest is going to be your uh, blue banshees. 
So again, this is going to be a lineup where just there is only one tank. So let's see if this lineup can survive the first round. Again, even Connor, I haven't uh, given good gear yet. Um, that is why I don't expect him to last that long, as you can see there. Um, again, this lineup, I it, it's a bit more experimental at this point. But this lineup, once you have, you know, have tweaked it to a point wherein the gear is good, um, this lineup is going to be good as well for Skyscraper. And the last lineup that we're going to be discussing is this is basically very experimental, but I think this is one of the, you know, I think best experiments that I've, I've had. Um, so far, I've been experimenting with heroes that haven't been used. So that is why Lee is here. There are a lot of you know, there are a lot of people who don't use Lee. Um, I've I've seen one comment that Lee should be top tier. So I tried using her, and this lineup actually is an example that she is good. But again, with the lowest HP, I think of the bunch, she's going to be pulled again for this stage. So let's see, let's see what happens. So three at the back, one mid, and one the front. So again, for this lineup, this is going to have a lot of damage. As you can see, I dwindled, dwindled it down to... Down to 11. So for the, the, you know, the, the smallest HP, it was um, Rock who was pulled in. But the rest can actually survive wave one i hope so as you can see front line you have abigail you have tanya they survived they haven't even died or been resurrected yet but again we cleared wave one except for rock being dead so that's it another experimental team that you can actually build on hopefully um you try out some of the lineups that we've discussed today and hopefully guys um i actually appreciate it if you give me feedback if you if you use some of the lineups, what you think? Are they good? Um, do you have any suggestions? You can put them down in the comment section below. Also, for those who um, have gone this far, please do consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. Also, don't forget to click that bell icon and put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.